Hey there, welcome back to Wireless Solutions. Today we are tackling something that is both thrilling and a little intimidating. Installing a custom ROM on your Android device. Whether your Android phone is lower than a turtle on Wi-Fi, is out of memory, can update to the latest version of Android, or you've got an old phone that needs a fresh coat of paint, this tutorial is perfect for you. In this video, we will walk you through the safest way to install a custom room without risking any permanent damage to your device. Here's what we will cover today. Installing a custom recovery. Finding the perfect custom room. Backing up your data. Flashing the custom room. Reboot and first boot. Post-flashing setup. So grab your phones, maybe a cup of coffee or a snack if you are feeling extra, and get comfy because we are about to make installing a custom ROM as easy as pie. Let us dive in. Section 1. Installing a Custom Recovery There are two main ways to install a custom ROM. Using a computer, where you connect your device and flash the ROM via specialized software, directly on your device using a custom recovery, which is faster and more convenient. Let us go with the second method since it is super popular and doesn't require any heavy tech skills. But first, let us talk about custom recovery. It is like the Swiss Army knife of your Android phone. Without it, you can't do much. But with it, you will feel like an Android wizard. What is a custom recovery? A custom recovery is a tool installed on your device that lets you do things like installing custom ROMs, making backups, or wiping certain parts of your system. It is basically your phone's toolbox for customization. To install a custom recovery, search online for your device model plus custom recovery. XDA Developers is your best friend here, so go ahead and check it out for reliable guides and files. Most installations are easy PC and take about 15 to 20 minutes unless you are trying to install it on an ancient phone. In which case, maybe grab a snack while you wait. Once your custom recovery is up and running, you are ready to pick a custom ROM. Section 2. Finding the perfect custom ROM Now comes the fun part, picking out a custom ROM. A custom ROM is like a makeover for your phone. It gives you new features, a faster experience, and even a fresh interface. Think of it as giving your device a makeover without going to the salon. To find your perfect ROM, Search for your device model, plus custom ROM on Google. Again, XDA Developers is a great place to start browsing for options. Make sure the ROM is compatible with your device. Flashing an incompatible ROM can result in your phone not booting up, so not ideal. Before you proceed, read the ROM's description. It will usually tell you what works, what doesn't what features it offers. If you want a cleaner interface or more customization options, there is probably a ROM for that. Section 3. Backing up your data Let's not sugarcoat it. Installing a custom ROM will wipe everything on your phone. Yes, everything. Your apps, settings, and precious data. Gone. So don't skip this step. Backup, Titanium Backup. Ideal for rooted devices. This app lets you backup everything, including apps and their data. App Backup and Restore Great for non-rooted devices. It helps save your app files and important data. Additionally, you can manually backup your photos, videos, and documents to cloud services like Google Drive or Dropbox. Now that your data is safe, we can move on to the fun part. Section 4. Flashing the Custom ROM Here comes the action. Let us install the custom ROM. Step 1. Boot into recovery mode. Power off your device. Press the specific button combination for your phone model. Example, volume up plus home plus power for some Samsung devices. If you are not sure, Google it or refer to your custom recovery guide. You will now be in recovery mode. Step 2. Navigate the recovery menu. Use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select options. Step 3. Perform pre-flashing steps. Back up your current system. In recovery mode, go to backup and restore and make a full backup of your current system. This ensures that if anything goes wrong, you can restore your phone. Wipe data or factory reset. This step is essential to clear your old system files. 
Think of it like cleaning your phone's history without the awkwardness. Wipe cache partition. This deletes temporary files to make space for the new ROM. Step 4. Install the ROM. Select Install Zip or Install from Storage. Find a custom ROM file you downloaded, likely in your Downloads folder. Confirm your selection and let the flashing process begin. This may take a few minutes, so kick back, relax, and maybe binge watch a few Wireless Solutions YouTube videos. Section 5. Reboot and First Boot Once the flashing is complete, return to the main menu in Recovery and select Reboot System Now. The first boot can take up to 10 minutes, so don't panic if it seems slow. This is totally normal as the system sets up the new ROM. Section 6. Post Flashing Setup After the reboot, your device will start with a clean, fresh ROM. You will notice a cleaner, faster interface, less bloatware, goodbye unwanted apps. Tons of customization options. Finally, control over your device. Follow the on-screen setup to configure your device. And if you are not in love with the new ROM, you can always restore your backup or try a different ROM. Tips and final thoughts. Experiment with caution. The world of custom ROMs is vast. But not all ROMs are created equal. Always read user reviews and feedback before flashing. Keep backups handy. It is always a good idea to backup regularly via recovery. Better safe than sorry, right? Join the community. Platforms like XDA developers are a great resource for tips, troubleshooting, and the latest ROMs. And that's a wrap, everyone. Installing a custom ROM doesn't have to be complicated or scary. Whether you use custom recovery, a specific ROM, or flash it like a pro, you have learned the basics. Now go forth and customize your device to your heart's content. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your tech-savvy friends, and subscribe to Wireless Solutions for more Android tips, tricks, and tutorials. Until next time, keep your phone slick, your data backup, and remember, if your phone can look like a million bucks with a custom ROM, why settle for less? Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.